Losing strength on a carnivore diet. That's a question I get asked repeatedly. It, it, it seems like one of the biggest questions that I get, aside from uh, expense. Uh, I would say most people are, are really curious on, are you going to lose strength during carnivore diet? Here's the absolute truth about strength and about losing strength. You are pretty much guaranteed to lose strength anytime you lose a significant amount of body weight. If you lose a bunch of body weight, you will lose strength. But I think sometimes when it comes to keto and to carnivore, I think people are thinking that they're going to lose strength because they're going to like miss out on a little bit of zip and, and miss out on a little bit of pop that they might get from having the muscles full of glycogen. And there is a little bit of truth to that, but that's not something that you're gonna really truly notice all that much. That's gonna make a very, very minor difference. And in terms of your overall strength, probably won't negatively impact you whatsoever. However, what could negatively impact you is having a lot of progress towards weight loss. And this is where we need to try to prioritize things. We need to say to ourselves, you know what? I, I, I'm too fat. You need to come to that realization. You need to say, I'm a lot fatter than I need to be. I'm a lot fatter than I should be. And it's time for me to make a change. And so therefore, I'm going to join Mark Bell on World Carnivore Month, and I'm going to dive all in on it. Well, if you just said that statement and you realize that, then you can't follow it up with another statement of, at the same time, I want to get stronger. You would be able to get stronger if you were untrained, if you're somebody that hasn't trained in a long time or someone that's never lifted before. Also, in some rare cases of somebody who's very, very heavy, someone who's three or 400 pounds, we've had a lot of people in this gym here at Super Training Gym in West Sacramento, California. Don't forget that the gym is free, boys and girls, every Saturday and Sunday from nine o'clock until 1 p.m. You can come in. All you need to do is show up and, and walk through the door, 855 Riverside Parkway, We've had a lot of people here who made a lot of progress uh, in dropping weight. We've had a few guys lose 100 pounds. We had a few guys lose 200 pounds. And in those cases, those people actually got stronger. And they haven't eaten a carbohydrate in, in years, uh, two, three, four years for some of these people. I know it sounds wild, but this is, this is the truth. This is what has happened here. But again, keep in mind, those were individuals that previously were untrained or they just haven't trained in a really long time. If you're already trained up and you're already bench pressed 315 pounds and right now you weigh 240 pounds, if by the end of this diet you now weigh 220, you will most likely lose some strength. Now, let's flip it around a little bit. Let's say that you're well fed on the carnivore diet. Let's say that you're eating like a savage and you're pounding a lot of eggs and you're pounding a lot of meat. You absolutely positively won't lose any strength. However, there could be a little adjustment period for your stomach. There could be a little adjustment period in terms of your energy output. There could be a little adjustment period in terms of your strength. But for most, for in most cases, as long as you're able to maintain your body weight, uh, you would have no trouble at all maintaining your strength. And I want you to keep this in mind for all forms of diet. So in all forms of diet, you're going to lose strength if you lose a significant amount of body weight. What's a significant amount of body weight? Well, I would say like, you know, you start to get anything over like 10% of your body weight. Well, now we're probably really uh, gonna be cutting into our strength. Additionally, something else to keep in mind is that you may lose a little bit of strength. You might lose a little bit of that top end strength, but you can certainly work towards regaining a lot of that strength. I think sometimes people look at the numbers that I do now as opposed to what I used to do. I squatted 1,080, I bench pressed 854 pounds, I deadlifted 766 pounds, and they look at what I do now, currently, and they're like, oh shit, well, yeah, he went from 330 to 230, I lost 100 pounds, but look at how much strength he's lost. Well, you gotta keep in mind that there's a bunch of different things going on with me. Number one, the 1080 squat was in a powerlifting suit, in a squat suit. Also at that time, I was over 300 pounds. I was really fat. I was also really unhealthy. Um, the other thing you have to realize is not only was I using gear on the platform, but I was using gear in my body as well. I was using performance enhancing drugs and those make a huge difference. Not that I'm not on them now, but I take a much more uh, reasonable amount nowadays 
as it's prescribed to me by a professional, by a doctor. And at that time, I just, I took, I took what I took. Maybe that's a whole entire other video. I could tell you about what I took. Um, so that, that's a major factor. If somebody's looking at me and they're like, man, I, I know he benched a 578 in competition and now I see him, you know, he's benching 315 for reps and 405 and stuff, but he doesn't have the five plates on there like he used to toy around with. And that's, uh, that's for those two main reasons, a huge, a huge loss in body weight um, and then also a decrease in the amount of uh, PEDs. But can you get stronger on a carnivore diet? I would say that a lot of people are as long as you're keeping that body weight in range. To me, the most important thing as someone who lifts, I think it's important. And even, even when I was 330 pounds, make no mistake about it, boys and girls, I was still jacked. I was fat, I had a belly, um, but I wasn't sloppy. I was still in good shape, and proof of that is, you know, nowadays walking around at 230 pounds, I don't have a bunch of loose skin. Uh, what is the carnivore diet? Just to give you a little bit of advice on that real quick before we drop off. Carnivore diet is you're eating meat, and when you think of meat, don't only think of steak, because there's a lot of other types of meat that you could eat. If you want to try to do it more affordable, I suggest that you eat some chicken. You can get a rotisserie chicken, I think, at Costco for like five bucks. That's quite a bit of food. Um, and you're, you're eating meat, you're eating eggs, and if you want to throw in something like bone broth, that would be on the diet as well. What stands on the outside of the diet is uh, diet sodas, diet drinks, um, cheese, any sort of dairy products. Those, kind, those are things that all kind of stand on the fringe. Uh, but what's actually inside the actual confines of a strict carniv carnivorous diet is uh, basically just a bunch of meat. Thank you guys so much for following along. Hopefully that answers your question on can I gain strength on a carnivore diet? Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you all later.